South Florida family is outraged by this image right here and others. They say North Miami Beach police used it and the images of five other minorities as targets during weapons training. People that are out there supposed to be protecting us are using us as target practice. The department conducting that training says it has halted the practice for the moment, but the family questions why officers were ever firing at targets with images of real people. Now, in this case, all of them were African Americans. And the family says it shows a lack of sensitivity, especially now when relations between police and minorities across the country are so tense. Tonight, NBC6 investigator Willard Shepard joins us live in the studio with this exclusive investigation. Willard? Well, Jackie, police in North Miami Beach say they have not violated any regulations, but the chief says his officers should have used better judgment. Now, this is one of the targets that the family says police were using out there. This is the actual target. If you look on the back of this, you can see the bullet holes that have gone through uh, this cardboard platform that they were using out there on this particular day in question. Up here, standard circular targets. This is not a real person, but a computer generated images right here. So no controversy about that. This is where the controversy comes in. Six minorities down here who are depicted. These are uh, the photographs that were used out here. And this particular picture right here, amazingly, this man right here, his sister, showed up on the weapons range. And I was like, why is my brother being used for target practice? It was here on the Medley Range last month when the targets were used in training for North Miami Beach Police Department snipers. Shooting range records show that after the police left, the Florida National Guard came in. That's when the guardsmen saw what police had left behind. They were all black males. Among the photos, her brother Woody's mugshot, taken 15 years ago. They were like gunshots there. And like, I, I cried a couple times. When she said, oh my God, they use you as target practice. The picture actually has like, you know, bullet holes in, you know, one in my forehead and one in my eye. I was speechless. Dia did four years in prison after being involved in a drag race back in 2000 here on Biscayne Boulevard that left two people dead. Now I'm being used as a target and I'm not even living that life according to how they, they portrayed me as, you know. I'm a father, I'm a husband, I'm, I'm a career man, I, I, I work a nine to five. This indicates North Miami Beach Police Chief J. Scott Dennis defends the department's use of actual photographs, saying the technique is widely used and the pictures are vital to facial recognition drills. Our policies were not violated. Uh, there is no discipline that's forthcoming from the individuals regarding this. The chief says the fact that the targets were all African-American did not mean there was any racial profiling. As we utilize a, uh, an array of pictures, and we'll have six pictures of people that look very similar. We have uh, an array for black males. We have uh, an array of white and Hispanic males. However, he says he is disturbed by the use of this particular photo. What we are very, very concerned about is the, the event that occurred here because it happened to be uh, someone that was arrested by this agency. That individual would be somebody that would be on the streets of North Miami Beach. We spoke with federal and state law enforcement agencies and five separate police departments here in South Florida who have SWAT and sniper teams. Each told us that they only use targets coming from a commercial vendor and never fire at photos of real human beings ever.